Hello, fifth grade families coming into sixth grade. This is Joe McCora, the principal of the middle school, and so excited as we get ready to host our middle school transition meeting this evening uh, for any parents that are able to make it. We know that tonight is an exciting night for you like it is for us. We are so looking forward to beginning your child's journey with us in middle school. But we also understand that it is a very busy time of year and people can't make it. And uh, we understand that. So we're recording this presentation as a means of sharing the information with you. And we're sending it to all the families in the fifth grade right now, so that if there was anything that you missed in the presentation or anything that you'd like to go over, you'll have all the information available to you through this recording. So on behalf of an incredible middle school family, I would like to welcome you to Bronxville Middle School. It's a very special place in a wonderful community. So as you know, the core and our North Star of all we do at Bronxville is the Bronxville Promise. And our goal each and every day is to continue to enhance the knowledge of our students so that they will lead, engage, innovate, and think critically. This is the heart of our work. It is our North Star, and it is what we continue to do each and every day in our work with your children. What is middle school? So actually, just a little history lesson. The concept of middle school began in 1909 in Columbus, Ohio. The model you see today was popularized in the 1960s. And the purpose of middle school essentially is to bridge the gap between elementary school and high school. It's a time of growth, change, and wonder for your children. And what we try to do is to expose them to different classes with different teachers in hopes that they find some type of a passion for something that they will continue to pursue as they move forward to high school. Just some middle school basics, because for many of you that have attended Bronxville Elementary School, you're used to a certain schedule each and every day. Um, middle school starts every single day at 8.20 a.m., except for days with early morning music. I'll speak a little bit later about that. School ends every day promptly at 3 o'clock p.m., and students are dismissed. Uh, unlike elementary school, there is no dismissal manager in middle or high school. All attendance goes through Ms. Katie Krieg in the main office, and that includes if your child is leaving early or coming in late. Uh, MS attendance at bronxvilleschool.org or the phone number seen uh, can be used to communicate to the office uh, if your child is going to be absent from school or arriving late or early each and every day. So you're aware extra help is available every day at 7.45 a.m. and there is no appointment needed. Middle school basics continued. We follow a six-day schedule. We have advisory on days one and four. On day one, classes are 46 minutes in the morning and 56 minutes in the afternoon. And on day four, classes are 56 minutes in the morning and 46 minutes in the afternoon. And there is no homeroom on day one. So your child over the summer, you will see a schedule. It will be posted on Infinite Campus and you'll see very clearly what your child has, what the subject is and what classroom it's in. In middle school, we continue our journey with music. Students are programmed for chorus, band, or orchestra, and it's on their schedule. And in addition, starting at the end of September, all students will also arrive to school at 7.45 a.m. for early morning music on designated days. Eighth graders will be on Tuesday mornings, seventh graders will be on Wednesday mornings, and sixth graders will be on Thursday mornings. We will let you know the exact date and communicate that to you well in advance of it starting in the fall. And we look forward to our wonderful concert performances next year. Homeroom and advisory. So homeroom is only a few minutes when it is assigned. And it's basically a place for your child to check in, get daily announcements, which are read to them by their homeroom teacher. And also we do the Pledge of Allegiance each and every day at our school as well. During advisory, which is a little bit more of an extended time period, we try to do an emphasis on team building and community building with the students in each grade. Grading at Bronxville Middle School, we use the A, B, C, D, and F scale for grading. And again, the idea about grading is that sometimes in middle school, a student will struggle a little bit with a low grade here and there. And a low grade is by no means the end of the world. 
It may mean a student just needs a little extra help here and there, which we can provide. It can also be used so that a student can develop a new and better strategy for learning different material. What we try to teach students is that how you may study for one class will differ from how you study for another. For example, studying for a social studies test is a little different than studying for a math test. And the skills you need and the strategy that you need to employ can be different. So we use sometimes struggles as an opportunity to really teach some great lessons. And we continue to advise students on developing strategies that will help them be successful. In the end, what we hope is that this leads to a more well-rounded student with a higher level thinking and problem solving skill. In summary, a bad grade is not always a bad thing. What students need to be successful? Well, the only thing we will ever ask of them each and every day is to do their best. We'll ask them always to take care of themselves, make sure they're sleeping, make sure they have time, they have a time hours before they go to sleep where the technology is turned off. So, you know, students often in middle school will have cell phones and other types of devices that you provide for them for communication purposes. It's important to have time at the end of their days and in their days at home where they are device free. It helps them rest. It helps them go into a restful state and it helps them get better sleep at night. We always encourage our students to make sure they're hydrating and eating right each and every day. We want them to get into the habit of packing their belongings the night before and to do their homework, even if they don't understand it, to give it an attempt each and every day because it helps us assess what they may be strong in and what they may need a little extra assistance in. What will never be tolerated in Bronxville Middle School is we, we really celebrate ourselves on being a culture of caring. We, um, and we, what we wanted to do always each and every day is to create a community of kindness through random acts of kindness. So we will never tolerate students being mean to one another. We will never tolerate disrespectful behavior to anyone, that's students, staff, anyone. We obviously are, will never tolerate fighting, bullying, misuse of technology, and I'm very happy to say that we don't have much of that. Um, we do want cell phones turned off during the school day. We would prefer them in a locker, and so you're aware that if a cell phone does go off, it's taken. And again, that's progressive. The first time it's taken and given back, the second time uh, we will call home, and the third time we may be getting parents involved to come in and pick up the cell phone as well. Cheating and plagiarism is not will not be tolerated, uh, as well as we encourage all students and parents to please review the district code of conduct just for better success. We'll also be having a handbook that's available to you that can be a great guide as well. So sometimes people get afraid of middle school, and uh, we want to know, you know, just to get to the core of that, many children and parents have scary thoughts about middle school, and we, we try to dispel those thoughts right away. Uh, from worrying about peer pressure, locker combinations, homework, hormones to new teachers, starting sixth grade can be nerve wracking for ele many elementary school students, even the tough ones. But you can help your child. You can listen to your child and how they're feeling. You could talk to them and you could advise them on best strategies. One big misconception about middle school for parents is that I have to back off my child now. In some ways, yes, they do need to be more responsible, take a little more ownership of their work and their behaviors, et cetera. And in some ways, I would say absolutely not, because you always need to know where they are, what they're doing, and you're definitely still in charge of your child and accountability of your children to you is very important as well in their growth process. It actually makes them more independent. And the reality of middle school is it's really a lot of fun. It's the smallest school in our district. We don't even hit 400 students. They grow so much in these three short years, intellectually, socially, and emotionally. As a matter of fact, think of how they grew from kindergarten to fifth grade in so many ways. In a lot of ways, they grow that same amount in three short years uh, while they're in middle school. So it's, it's an incredible time for them. They form friend, new friendships and interests. They develop coping skills, and coping skills and habits in different situations. And our job together is to make all those skills and habits positive ones so that they carry them forward towards success at the next level of education and in life. Our students take part in so many fun things. And I'm going to share just a few of you. This is a picture of our recent production of the musical The Lion King. And we had a lot of sixth graders take part in that and seventh and eighth graders as well. Um, they take part in everything from uh, the, the actual performing to behind the sets and uh, set building, set design, production. So it's, it's a great way for them to develop any interest that they may have in the stage. 
We do a lot of work with the Bronx River Research. Uh, it's something that work will continue. It's something they touched upon in elementary school. It's something they really delve into, in particular in our seventh grade science curriculum. Uh, but it, it continues with them as they go to high school. So it's it's exciting and it's next level. And it's something that they will hopefully develop a passion for, for those that are interested. Uh, this we have pride ourselves on our trips in the middle school. We have two overnight trip experiences that we do. This year, we took our Boston, uh, we took our eighth graders to Boston, Massachusetts, and that's a historical eighth grade trip that we've continued. We used to go to DC, but we've switched up to Boston recently. Uh, and it was a great trip. It had a, the perfect mix of education and fun. And the most important thing is we had, we made some memories with one another. Uh, we also take a traditional over 50 year strong trip to Williamsburg, Virginia. This is a three night overnight trip, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursdays historically, and we come back on a Friday evening. It's a wonderful experience. It's right in line with the curriculum that they're learning as part of their seventh grade social studies class. And it really is history in action, and it allows them to see what they are learning and experience it uh, in a very unique way. And again, it's about forming memories with one another as a class and things that will carry those memories will carry them throughout the rest of their Bronxville careers and hopefully the rest of their lives as well. They can always look back at something at, at these trips with great memories and, you know, with the with the wonderful experience and wonderful feeling in their hearts as they dwell back on those times when they were in Bronxville Middle School. We have a lot of great trip opportunities in sixth grade too. We take the kids to start Sharp Reservation. We also take them on day trips. Uh, we take them to fun trips as well. Uh, you name it, we try to do it here. Again, it's about experiences and it's about bridging that gap. Um, some great people to know, and to me, this is one of the most valuable slides I could share with you. Uh, Katie Krieg runs our main office and so many other things in our school. There is her email address. Mr. Agnello is our guidance counselor and dean. Jim does so many things for our kids and for our teachers in our school. Lisa DeSanto is his partner there in guidance land. And uh, Jim and Lisa are an incredible team. They've touched the lives of thousands of kids in their career. And we look forward to them working with your children as well. Jillian Tomlin is our phenomenal school psychologist. Um, she will be working with your children as needed. Uh, and she is a great point person for you. And I, I know you're aware of this, maybe you're not, but we actually have an assistant principal too in our school, Mr. Marcel. Ellis Lassane is our assistant principal who we also share with the high school. So Mr. Lassane uh, gets to know your children in middle school and then takes them right through high school along with Ms. Meyer, their principal. Um, we are trying to take advantage of this wonderful place called Bronxville. See, in many schools, uh, districts throughout the United States of America, middle school can be a very traumatic experience because for some, they've been in one school six years that's been pretty close to their homes. And now when they go to middle school, they have to actually not only leave the school, but leave the whole area and go to another part of town. That doesn't happen in Bronxville. And we call that the Bronxville advantage. So we are going to take full, full advantage of that wonderful advantage of being on the same campus with our elementary school. Um, we are going to have sixth grade transition presentations. So each day over the next week, uh, myself and some students are going to go into the classrooms of each fifth grade class and share with them presentation similar to this, much more kid-like, and uh, tell them a little bit about middle school. And in, we were also going to give them a tour of our middle school wing so they could get to have an idea of what the classes are like and where they are and uh, see how close it is to where they actually used to go to school. And we were also in the coming weeks before they leave us going to give them their locks now for their lockers. And then we're going to teach them how to open them. And we're going to give them some tutorial and some guidance. But instead of having that awe factor when they come back and getting their locks and having to learn how to navigate a combination, we're actually going to give the lock to them now and uh, let them practice over the summer with you. And that will hopefully take that one little worry that they've had uh, off their plates, which they should. So before they even leave for the summer, they will have an opportunity to have a chat with the principal, meet some students, meet their counselors, 
Uh, they'll get a tour of the building a little bit, maybe even say hi to some of our teachers. And uh, it'll be an incredible experience and a great way to start bridging that gap. And uh, that's not possible without the cooperation of their amazing fifth grade teachers, their elementary administrators. And we're working with this program this year, and it's going to be something we hope to continue in years to come. It's a transition that can begin sooner than later. Uh, sixth grade will have a formal student orientation on Thursday, August 31st. It will be at 10 a.m. It's pretty much led by their guidance counselors. Uh, I'll be there as well, but they get to meet some teachers. They get um, an idea of a walkthrough of their schedule because they'll have it at that point. And it'll be a great experience for them just to be further comforted before they begin that middle school journey. Uh, we're all in this together, everyone. We're on a team with one goal, and that's the success of your child. Our common goal is always to, for your child to be successful. Uh, I would not want to be on any other team than this wonderful middle school team. They really care about kids in every way, and they want to help them navigate these three years towards ultimate success. And I know together with the parents and the school working together, we will accomplish this goal. Uh, I always like to end presentations or almost end presentations on you know just a little quote that has always carried me well, and it can be applied to so many things in life. But as we begin our journey, we want your kids to go very far. So if we want to go fast, we go alone. But if we want to go far, which we want for your children to go very far into their success, we go together. So together, we will be an incredible team that helps your child be successful throughout their middle school experience and well beyond middle school. Uh, I would be remiss if I did not end by thanking our PTA and encouraging our parents to support the PTA and all they do. Between our PTA and the Bronxville Foundation, we're able to create so many experiences for your child as they begin, as they're, as they're crossing over that bridge between elementary and high school. Uh, it's one of the greatest PTA groups you'll ever be associated with. Please get involved. Uh, I really just make that plug to ask you to please get involved. The things they do with kids outside of school, inside of school, the programs that they help support, the experiences, the fun that they provide for your child is incredible. And I've never been associated with the more supportive PTA group than Bronxville's group here. And uh, Bronxville Middle School is no exception to that. They have a wonderful and very involved PTA. Our meetings are once a month, most months. Some months we don't have meetings. Uh, they've been on Zoom. They're very convenient for families to attend. And like this, if you're not able to attend, we certainly record them and have them ready for you at another time. Uh, everything the PTA does in Bronxville goes directly back to the students. So with that being said, I want to officially welcome you all to middle school. I thank you so much for the time and attention that you gave to this video. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us with any questions as you continue to get ready for that middle school experience. But I want to just take to give you some advice to take the time to enjoy these last weeks in elementary school and congratulate you and your children on the success of moving up to middle school. It's certainly an accomplishment for the entire family. And uh, we wish you all the best this summer. We look forward to seeing you next year and for the great journey that we have ahead of us. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much again. And welcome to Bronxville Middle School.